Hey, what's up guys? I'm Josh and my videos are here to help assist you to realize that you are complete and total at all times, no matter what. So the last video I did, I kind of briefly talked about pure spirituality and my current understanding of pure spirituality. And in this next video, I just kind of wanted to introduce myself. People are probably being like, Dude, who the heck is this guy? He just kind of comes on here and starts talking about spirituality. So. A little bit of my backstory is that I am a student of Dr. David Hawkins. I started my own spiritual path in about 2004 and the first, I kind of read everything under the sun back then, uh, 2004, I just spontaneously became very interested in spirituality and started reading, you know, it started with Ernest Holmes and the Science of Mind, then it went to you know, everything New Age-ish, the whole New Age circus, I read everything under there. And then that kind of moved to Dr. Wayne Dyer, and I ended up meeting Dr. Wayne Dyer, and his book, uh, The Power of Intention, made a huge impact on my own life. And then it was Dr. Wayne Dyer that introduced me to Sri Nisargadatta Maharaj and Dr. David Hawkins. So this was all about 2004, 2005, while I was living in Atlanta, Georgia. So... Let's see here. And then when I started reading Dr. Hawkins' works and Nisargadatta Maharaj, my grandmother came over one day and she had the Science of Mind magazine and she handed it to me and there was a picture of Dr. Hawkins on the magazine and I had sort of like an instant uh, recognition with his picture and his eyes and the gaze that, that kind of emanated from his eyes. And I remember I was standing in my bedroom when my grandmother handed me that and little did I know that fast forward six years from then and I find myself you know working at Veritas Publishing being a volunteer and sitting in the living sitting in Dr. Hawkins living room helping him sign books and getting to kind of be with him on a one-on-one -on -one basis from time to time so it was a very interesting journey and then like I said, I was living in Atlanta, Georgia when all this occurred and then I ended up moving to California to be back by some other family members and wanted to be out west again. And then that kind of turned into this very powerful intention forming and me moving back or me moving to Sedona, Arizona in 2006. And my first encounter with Dr. Hawkins was March 2006. I, I drove out from California to go to one of his satsangs. And that was the first time that I had ever met him because back in those days he would kind of walk around the room and he'd shake people's hands and introduce himself. And I got to ask him a question, which was super cool, even though I was super nervous. And yeah, so then that kind of triggered everything. And I remember when I first shook Dr. Hawkins' hand, there was like some kind of something happened where all of his teachings began to really make much more sense than prior to meeting him. So I remember that experience. And then on top of that, the, the level of consciousness from which Dr. Hawkins spoke sort of made itself apparent at the same, around the same time. And you know, that's when that, that super strong intention came, came forth. It was like, you know, is if, if there's someone at this level of consciousness on the planet, then that's where I want to be. I want to be by that person. So anyways, and that triggered the whole move out to Sedona and then ended up living in Sedona for the next six and a half years, going to lots of devotional non-duality study groups and going to all of Dr. Hawkins lectures and satsangs and, you know, a lot of studying the Course in Miracles back in those days. And then all of the very interesting subjective phenomena that was occurring back in those days that for myself, kind of the reason why... I wanted to start doing videos was that I, I see nobody talking about this kind of stuff and I feel like if there's any kind of obligation I have to this world it would be to share my own experiences my own subjective experience and understanding of what it was like to be sort of in a close proximity with Dr. Hawkins for you know six and a half seven years and to just kind of you know all those experiences were sort of a confirmation that what he was sharing, for myself at least, I can only speak for myself, was indeed the absolute truth. And 
some of those experiences back in those days, you know, it all started, like I said, in Atlanta, Georgia, I was reading Nisargadatta Maharaj and started having lots of experiences of, you know, experiencing the so-called I am-ness that Nisargadatta talked about very often. And then going into almost having sporadic episodes of states verging on ecstasy, high joy, and being amazed at the stunning awareness of my own existence. And then those ended up leading to a very profound experience that I had one afternoon with Nisargadatta's work when I was sitting there on the bed and all of a sudden the sense of doership that there was an independent personal self uh, talking or, or moving about, uh, the illusion of that disappeared and I saw that the body, you know, this, the body doing what it's doing right now is actually happening by itself and there's no person behind its actions. It just, it spontaneously moves. Consciousness moves all things and there's no person doing that. So. That was a very profound experience. And then later on, living in Sedona, Arizona, just lots of interesting subjective experiences coming in, being around Dr. Hawkins. There was lots of dreams about angels. There was dreams about Doc coming to me. And you know, any kind of question that I had that I couldn't ask him in person, it would be answered with him coming to me in a dream. And then lots of uh, experiences with noticing that I am the witness of all things that I am the silent mover of all things, that which I am is infinite, the self with a capital S, uh, has no limits, no boundaries, no form. Um, all the seasons actually happen within myself. You know, uh, nothing changes in that realm with the self with a capital S, it's a changeless, infinite state. Um, it's a couple encounters with angels in the waking state that I'll have to share on another video. And then, yeah, so there was just a whole panorama of spiritual subjective experiences coming in, coming in and, and occurring while, you know, constantly being around Dr. Hawkins, volunteering at his ranch, going to his seminars and his satsangs. And yeah, this kind of just was confirmation that whatever was going on was working. Um, and even to this day, you know, I, I left Sedona in 2012 and moved back to California to be by family. And even to this day, the whole journey continues of, you know, the, the primary pathway that I study is devotional non-duality. And I, I've, I strictly follow Dr. Hawkins' teachings. I still read the Bhagavad Gita. I read the Upanishads. I still browse through the, the Bible once in a while. Um... What else do I like? Um, I still really like the Zen teachings of Huang Po. So this is the primary pathway that I find myself on. And this is sort of the inspiration to do videos. It's just, I don't see anybody really talking about this kind of stuff. And, and then when you look at the world and you look at all the various spiritual teachers that are big out there that are doing seminars and talking, I don't want to mention names, but there's really nobody out there that's, that talked about spirituality and non-duality on the same level that Dr. Hawkins taught on, you know, and I really want to, I'm feeling very inspired to share my own subjective experiences and my own understandings of the various principles and practices that, that Doc taught. And what I really want to do is just to inspire people and sort of be like a coach. Um, I'm kind of starting my own thing right now, which is consciousness coaching and I'm looking to work with individuals on a one-on-one -on -one or a group basis and sort of helping to be like an inspirer to people to, to help them, you know, how to surrender these obstacles, how to make spiritual progress. You know, so many people start spirituality and they get sort of discouraged, you know, down the path and how to keep that motivation and that inspiration high and how to really work through all subjective phenomena that may occur, you know, whether it's negative emotional states or unwanted negative, unwanted feelings or, you know, how to overcome thinking this and really just kind of trying to cut through all the BS of what the world calls spiritual. Because like I said, in the first video I made this is that there's so much stuff out there that people consider spirituality and they're really all distractions. They're all sideshows. They're all, it's all like the, uh, the you know, the inner child within uh, gets glamorized by all these things and you know what is it that we're all looking for you know we're all searching for some kind of feeling you know and ultimately 
you know, everything we do in this world is, has the intent, the intention behind it to, to get some kind of feeling, you know, whether it's happiness, love, uh, joy, you know, ultimately we're all looking for happiness. So, you know, what I really want to share is kind of a no BS approach to spirituality and how to get straight to the point to realize, you know, what can we do to help realize the self with a capital S, you know, uh, there's so many spiritual practices that people get lost in and stuck in, you know, like the, the biggest one is, you know, people spend decades and decades and decades trying to get their mind to stop thinking. And, you know, just knowing a little bit of inf a little piece of information could just completely transform your own, your, your own spiritual experience, you know, and bring tremendous value to your, to your life, you know, just the realization that you don't even have to stop thinking because thinking this isn't you to begin with. So why are you going to try to stop something that's not even you to begin with? You know, when all you have to do is shift the focus of your attention underneath the thoughts and realize that underneath the thoughts, there's an infinite silent space that's always going on. It's been existent forever. It's always existed. And all you have to do is shift your focus. So it's spiritual concepts like this and, you know, various understandings that I have gained through studying devotional non-duality and Dr. Hawkins and, you know, the Zen teachings of Wang Po and you know, all of my experience combined that I wish to inspire other people with. So yeah, I look forward to bringing as much value as I possibly can to the lives of everybody out there that are seeking the self with a capital S. You know, I don't claim to be self-realized, but I feel like I do have some very inspirational things I could share that could bring tremendous value to the lives of people out there that are, that are kind of lost and um, searching for that ultimate happiness. So, and that's the whole intention of my website and what I'm working on now, which is consciousness coaching and doing YouTube videos, doing Instagram is to help people to realize that you are complete and total at all times, no matter what. And that, that what you truly are is at the effect of absolutely nothing. So thanks guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for taking the time and I look forward to talking to you guys some more. All right, see ya.